Friends, welcome back to my channel. We are going to consider how to sew Isiago just like the one you are seeing on your screen. And please, I would like you to sit back and watch as we carry out this simple task. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please look down below this video. You see a subscribe button, hit on the subscribe button. And to my old subscribers, please, I would like you to write on the comment section, I subscribe. I want to recognize you. And please don't forget to give me a like on this video. Let's go into the sewing section. We comment now in sewing of the Isiago. This is the front of the Isiago. And this is the front tips of the Isiago. This is the back of the Isiago. This is the back and I have it. This is the back piece of the Isiago. I have already connected the back piece to the back of the Isiago. And this is the sleeve of the Isiago. And this is the remaining fabric. From this fabric that is remaining now, we cut out the pocket of this Isiago and also the placket we also come out from this remaining Isiago fabric. So I will start by folding. I will double fold here. The first folding will be small. I will iron it. So and the, I fold the second one with measurements. And the length of the sleeve is five and a half. 5.5 but after folding we make it six inches so half inches will be for the sewing allowance then we will also give a cut on this area let me give the cut give some cut you will not allow your cutting to touch the the thread which you have stitched so it is you are not touch it so the reason for this cut is to enable to enable us to iron this properly the next thing I'm going to do is to get the center we get the center of the Isiago the center of the front of the Isiago we get the center and we use iron to iron this area and iron this area to get the center and while getting the center you make sure that the edges are here for all these places you make sure they are both are uh, for so you now get the center of the the front of the ECR. then uh, then after we will also get the center of this the front piece we get the center of the front piece so with the front piece we will now attach it to the front of this table we go to iron iron table to run this thereafter we will come back and continue with the sewing i'm going to mark it uh, one three quarter one three quarter one three quarter One quarter. We use the measuring stick to align the line to make sure I have a very good straight line with the measuring stick. So this is it. So the next, what the next I'm going to do is to run stitch on it. But before I run stitch, I have to know where it's facing up and where it's backing down. This is the head of this yard. It needs to stand erect. So I have to mark the place that is facing up. So, so that why turning now we know we have to, to turn to. Well, finish running the stitch. And then. This is the place that will be facing up. What I will do is that I will open it this way, flatten it, and open open this side, and just run the stitch across. So 
So I will open press here. Yeah? After open pressing it, then I will turn it. I just finished open pressing it. You can see. So I give a cut. I cut out some of this. So the next thing I will do is to turn it. So I will turn this. You make use of iron or a spoke to turn it because the stick of broom will not be strong enough to do that. You get an iron like this to enable you to turn, turn it. Put this to push out the arrow mouth or the pointed mouth of these two edges. So we we'll take it to the table to iron and also let's give a little cut here because the base or the bottom part of this will be an arrowhead. It being this way. It being this way. So this is how it's going to look like after we finish ironing it so but it will, it's going to be more smoother than this so we just finish ironing it see how it is as uh, smooth as so this is the pocket before we attach the flapper let's run a stitch on the pocket because we use hair gum hair stay to hold it first let's run a stitch on it We will now run a stitch on the front piece of the front of the ECR gun. We are attaching the placket. We are attaching the placket on it. But what I'm discovering now is that this placket is too long for this clutch. So what do we do? How we reduce it? How we cut it? That's what. And we fold the dancer. Uh, let's continue so you as you are saying make sure that the center is in alignment with this and this arrow pointed mouth will still lie in the same alignment with it to lie on the alignment with the center right here and our pressing button will be on this point so we run a stitch from here we now attach the pocket the pocket to it. The next thing we're going to do now is to join the front to the back. So, and that's what we're going to do. 
the back this is the back and this is the front so we will attach the front together with the back but before we do that please if you have not yet subscribed to my channel look down below this video you will see a subscribe button hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to all and if you are my old subscribers please i would like to recognize you go to down below the comment section and write i subscribe there i want to know my subscribers and also to interact with them and i will also want if there be any comments or questions regarding to what we are doing of my previous tutorials please also put it on the comment section or if there is a video you would like me to make for you also put it on comment section thank you so we continue right now so we will take this and put it to the back and use the back piece to cover it Also, do the same on the opposite side. So, what we do now is to close. The back piece that's the next thing we are going to do now so before we we run stitch on the back piece we have to iron this side to be flat iron it this iron to be flat very very flat before we run stitch on it so we are going to run the stitch at the back that so finally iron the, the shoulder part I just finished so what we have not uh, do. So we are going to run the stitch back. We are going to run the stitch, this double thread stitch. We recommend from where it stopped. go move to our table to trim this after trimming we trim it together with the sleeve after trimming we now we will run the sleeve to join it we commence now in sewing of the isiago this is the front of the isiago and this is the front piece of the isiago this is the back of the isiago is the back and i have it this is the back piece of the isiago i've already connected the back piece to the back of the isiago and this is the sleeve of the Isiago and this is the remaining fabric from this fabric that is remaining now we cut out the pocket of this Isiago and also the placket we also come out from this remaining Isiago fabric so I will start by folding I will double fold here the first folding will be small I will iron it so and the, I fold the second one with measurement and the length of the sleeve is five and a half, 5.5. .5. But after folding, we make it six inches. So half inch will be for the sewing allowance. Then we will also give a cut on this area. Let me give the cut. Give some cut. You will not allow your cutting to touch the, 
a thread which you have stitched so it, it they are not touch it so the reason for this course is to enable to enable us to iron this properly the next thing I'm going to do is to get the center we get the center of the ECRO the center of the front of the ECRO we get the center and we use iron to iron this area and iron this area to get the center and while getting the center we make sure that the edges are equal all these places we make sure they are both uh, equal so you now get the center of the the front of the ECRO then uh, then after we will also get the center of this the front piece we get the center of the front piece so with the front piece we will now attach it to the front of this table we go to iron iron table to run this thereafter we will come back and continue with the shape my iron table and you can see the neck i have ironed it and it is so smooth as you can see and this is the sleeve of this table in the sleeve i told you that it will be double folded which i did in the first folding and in the second and whatever you are folding i said the sleeve length is five and a half and with if you check here this is six inches this is six inches and also let's check the opposite side this is also six inches now we are done with this we are going to this is the front piece i got the center of the front piece and i also successfully fold the bottom side on the base of the front piece and this is the front of the ECRO this is the front of the ECRO so I'm going to use the front piece to attach to the front of the ECRO let's, before I forgot before I forget the, this ECRO is for cheap is a, is, is for a child but we, we will still use whatever we are doing here to apply to the adults because it's exactly the same thing there is no difference between what I'm showing here and what's to be applied to an adult ECRO. So I will start by running stitch right around the neck and also to run stitch at, the, at this point. And before I forget again, the reason and the purpose for this center, getting the center of this, one, there are two reasons. One is to attach the front piece to make sure it is in alignment, to make sure that the front piece is, is in alignment while sewing, and two, why, why sewing the placket you also align the placket to the stretch the tip or the bottom line of the placket don't need to go off this line it doesn't need to go off this line that's the two reason why we need to get the center of the front of the ECRO so we begin with our sewing right now so what we are sewing first is the So this right one first, the neck of this here one. What I'm showing you now is is we are the to enable the head of the child or your client to pass through you cut here open along the line which you have made at the tip of it you give a white cut a white cut have white cut here but make sure it doesn't touch the thread make sure it doesn't touch the thread you give a notch here also here you also give some cut also to enable the ironing need just to enable our ironing so the next thing we're going to do is to turn it we turn it thereafter we will send it to the table ironing table to iron here but we are not going to the table now let's run stitch on the sleeve of this yago so why running stitch on the sleeve you run sleeve the stitch at the tip of this place which you just finish folding so I run it to the other So 
we are done with the stitch of the slip. So I'm going to what I will do now before going to the table is that I will cut out the piece or the fabric for the placket and also the fabric for the for the pocket. So I said we are using this remaining fabric for the pocket and for the placket. So now I'm going to cut out from here. Let me cut out for the placket first. I remember I said, or oh, remember that while cutting the placket, you make sure that whatever you want to sew on this yago, that the this yago itself need to stand erect. It need to stand erect. It doesn't need to be facing down. It don't need to face down. This one I'm talking about. This is the this yago yarn. So as I've just cut this one, and if you want to attach it to the to the body of the, uh, the this yago, you have it have to stand right erect. It doesn't need to back down or it, it don't need to be sideways. So it has to what stand erect. So this this for the placket. We use this to form the placket and uh, let me cut out for the pocket the pocket we cut out the pocket from here let me cut this off The pocket is a bash pocket, but not just that it's a bash pocket, it's, it, it, it has a kind of you know, different design on the surface of it. So this is the shape of the pocket, how the pocket is going to be. Now I'm going to use this. You know the, the pocket, this yagon is also standing erect as you can see. This is the upper side of the pocket, this is the bottom side of the pocket. So this will be on this yago, the opposite the facing of this yago, the outer facing of the pocket. So this will be on top of this yago pocket. So we call this give it a call So what I will do now is that I'm going to run stitch on this pocket. But if I want to run stitch for me to get this to be here, I will bring this one down and take this one on top. Because after running the stitch, I will not turn it, it will face this place. So what I will do now is that this pardon me. This is up now. This will come down, and why this one will be on top of it. So we run the stitch. Give a notch here. Also do some cuts on this area. Now you will turn it, and we have to. This is it. We have to take it to the to the ironing table to iron it so it will be flat, and then we will now fold this area with the same iron. So we go to the table, and the same way we we apply gum stay on this placket. We apply gum stay on the placket. Before so I've just uh, finished ironing. I'm back from the iron ironing table. So you can see that I have fin finally ironed this area, and you can see how smooth the place in the, the front of the of the of the, the, the CRB is. And this is the pocket. This is the pocket. This is the pocket. And this is how I folded the front and the inside. So this is the pocket. This pocket is going to be here, and this is our placket. We have to trim this right now and then we trim according to measurement we are trimming the sleeve and the shoulder point and the chest area so the, these are the places we are going to concentrate in this trimming now the shoulder is 10 inches 
and we have the total of 13 inches here but we start here to trim trim this this way So the chest is for 28 inches. The chest is 28 inches. Let's check what we have here as the chest measurement. Then 8 divided by 2 will give us 14. This 14 here. So we check the shoulder. The shoulder is 10. This is 10 here. We have allowance for a sewing. We also have allowance here for sewing. So we will check the hand if it corresponds with what we need. Place the hand here. Remember the sleeve length is five and a half and what we have here is six inches. So half inches is for the allowance for this. And we check it this way. This is the way we align it. So it corresponds. So we don't need to trim this down again. What we need to check is the the, the round sleeve. The round sleeve is eight inches. But we are going to mark this ten inches now. We're going to cut at ten inches. So we are going to go back to the machine to join the sleeve to the body of the Isiago and thereafter we will now close the side of the Isiago. John, this is the way we put the sleeve. If you can see, you see a V curve here, a notch I give, I give to it, and also a V curve here. That, that means that uh, we join these two V curve together and that's where the center of it goes. Join the opposite side of the hand. So the run sleeve is 8 inches. We measure 8 divided by 2 will give us 4. And this is 8 inches. We mark 8 inches. It is 4. We are joining the side of this yellow. We are closing it now. Make the size lead five inches. Take the chest measurement, which is 14.
This one will also be cut thin. So, the last but not least thing to do is to fold this. And after folding it, we will now run stitch on it. And also fold here. So, to fold the side and the bottom side of it. We are folding it according to the measurement of the PCR and the length of the PCR is 15 inches. So, why folding? We go to an iron table to fold it. And uh, after folding, we now run stitch. Successfully fold the bottom side of it and the side of the center the Isiago. So we will run stitch right at that bottom area. Uh, we are going to run a stitch. at the side of it. So we are done with the sewing of this Isiago. Please, I would like you to give me a thumb thumb on this video and also to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done that. Look down below this video, you see a subscribe button. Hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the, the notification bell to also that you will get notified whenever I post a new video. And uh, to my old subscriber, please at the comment section hit put i subscribe on at the comment section so that i will recognize you and uh, thank you very much for watching